Good morning, welcome to Large Group. Hey, we're in the Fear Buster Lab. My name is Beaker. Hey, do I have anybody who wants to help me? You can be Fear Busters too. Do you know what? There is no fear in this lab. That's why it's called the Fear Buster Lab. Hey, we have a Bible verse that'll kind of help us out. It's in Psalms. It says, I prayed to the Lord and He answered me. He freed me from all my fears. How about that? So that's what we're doing. We're busting fears. Hey, why don't we stand up and let's sing a song. When we pray, our God hears, sets us free from all our fears. When we pray, our God hears, sets us free from all our fears. We're not scared. us free from all our fears. We're not scared. No, no, no. Are we scared? No, no, no. We're not scared. No, no, no. Are we scared? No, no, no. Wow, that was great singing. Hey, you know what? We have some friends here in the Fear Buster Lab. Our friends are monsters. They're not scary monsters. They're friendly monsters. Would you like to meet them? Great! Hey, this is Mimi Monster. And then there's Momo Monster, and Bebo Monster, and Zingo Monster. Sometimes our monster friends are scared, and so we have to help them bust their fear. We should probably go over our rules for the lab. Rule number one is be kind, and we have to be kind by using our quiet lips. We also have to be quiet because of our pet snake in the aquarium. He likes it very quiet. Rule number two is to be safe. We have to be safe by sitting on our color carpet or in our hula hoop. Well, this is my snack. Now, usually in my bag, I have cookies or fruit snacks, something I really like, but today it's just, let me look, empty. There's nothing in it. It's just empty. Hey, I wonder how our monsters are doing. Let's check our monster meter and see. So our monster friends, if their meter is green, it means they're happy. And if their meter is red, it means they're scared. So I think today everyone's gonna be happy. Let's check it and see. Oh, there is somebody who's sad and scared. Who is that? You're right, it's Momo Monster. Momo Monster is scared. I wonder what's going on with Momo today. Why don't we ask Agent True Lou, or Lou True, and let's see what he has to say. Agent True, Agent True. Hey Fear Busters, I'm Agent Lou True, ready to bust some monster fears with God's Word. Fear Busters, do you know what God's Word is? Right, a Rooney. Hey, I think I hear something over here. Let's go take a look. Agent True, is that you? Oh, look, it's Momo Monster. Are you okay, Momo? No, Agent True. I'm really scared. Why are you so scared? My family is camping at a new place today. I don't know any other monsters there. I don't know where the playground is, or if there's a place to get monster snacks, or even where the potty is. I am just scared of new stuff. Oh, Momo. 
Trying new things can be scary. A lot of people feel scared before they do something or go somewhere new, but I want to help you bust that fear. We can do that with a story from God's Word. Momo, would you like to hear a story from God's Word? That would be roaresome. We monsters love to hear stories from God's Word. Fear Busters, do you like to hear stories from God's Word too? Yes! Great. Then let's all put on our gazing goggles. Zoop, zoop! zoop. God told Moses to choose 12 of his men and send them to explore a new land God had for them. These men had never been to this new land before, so they began their journey. Let's all pretend to walk like the 12 men. You look great. Now, back to where we were. The new land was beautiful. The men saw yummy food and even brought some of it back to their camp. But that's not all they saw. They even saw people, very big people, in the new land. Ten of the men were very scared. Fear Busters, let me see your best scare faces. Whoa, you all look super scared. Kind of like how I feel about going to the new campground. What happened next? The ten scared men did not want to go back to the new land. But these two men were not scared. Their names were Caleb and Joshua. They told all of the people, do not be scared, God is with us. Did the scared men listen to Caleb and Joshua? Actually, no one listened to Caleb and Joshua. They listened to the scared men. Because they were scared and did not go to the new land God had for them, they had to spend 40 whole years walking around in the hot, dirty desert. That does not sound fun at all. If they would have gone to the new place, like God wanted, would they have been safe and happy? You betcha! After many years of walking in the hot desert, God let Caleb and Joshua go in the great new land he had for them. God was with Caleb and Joshua, and he is with you too, Momo. When you are scared, you can remember that God is with you. That is such great news! Now I know that when I'm scared, God is with me. This is going to help me so much while we're camping. Fear Buster friends, to help us bust our fears, let's say this together. When I'm scared, when I'm scared, God is, God is, with me, with me. Great job, everyone. Well, it looks as though my work here is done. Fear Buster agent Lou True, over and out. Wow, what a great Bible story. Let's check our monster meter now. Wow, look, everybody's green. Everybody is happy. Oh, good job, Momo Monster. Hey, let's stand and let's sing a song.
All right, that was great singing. Hey, are you ready to do our experiment today? Okay, let's look at the computer. All right, it says, was Momo Monster scared of making a silly face or scared of going to a new place? You're right, she was scared of going to a new place. Well, I have a new vase. Let me show you. And it has my new sparkle powder in it. Look at that. That is very fancy. All right, question number two. Well, in our Bible story, did Caleb and Joshua tell the men that God is far away or God is with us? You're right, God is with us. Hmm, I have a special solution. It's over here. Here's my special solution. Look at that. Hmm, this special solution, it's always hanging out in the lab. Now, I'm going to pour my special solution into my new sparkle vase. Now, if my calculations are correct, and we should not be scared of going to a new place or trying new things, then when I pour this special solution into my vase, something magical will happen. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Let's try it. Do you think something magical is gonna happen? Hmm. Let's see. Did you see that? There were bubbles everywhere. It was like a brand new mixture. My sparkles are all over the tray. Look at that, so that means our fear was busted. So, I have to confess, my snack bag was not empty. There was something in here that is new and I've never tried it before. You see those two little orange things? They're carrot sticks. Usually I have cookies, but I didn't really want to try something new. That's the reason that I said there was nothing in my snack bag. Do you think I should try it? You do? Mm. Crunchy. You know, they're not that bad. Hmm. Maybe I should try new stuff. Maybe I should try those green peas that my mom puts on my plate at dinner time. Fear busted. So, with our fear of being busted, we need to put this in our fear buster box. All right. Hey, do you have any fears of new places or new things? If you do, let's put them in the box. I'll count to three. One, two, three. Great job. So you know what? Our fear has been busted. Wow. Thanks for visiting the Fear Buster Lab today. Why don't we say our prayers together? Open them, close them. Open them, close them. Give a little clap. Open them, close them. Open them, close them. Put them in your lap. Here we go. Dear God, thank you for our Bible story. Help me when I'm trying something new. In Jesus' name, amen. Fear Busted.